Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel with this new list about the best frigates in the world. Enjoy the video and see you at the end for the final considerations. The first ship we have today is the Type 054A from China. It's being produced from 2006 and launched in 2008. 26 of them are active in this moment and free under construction. It has a cost of $205 million and the latest one was commissioned in 2018, just the last year. It has a length of 134 meters with a displacement of 4,050 tons. It can reach a speed over 27 knots, a range of 14,800 100 km, an endurance of 29 days and the propulsion is achieved by a combination of diesel and diesel. For the armament we can find one 76mm dual purpose gun and two 30mm Sibus. Sibus stands for Close-In Weapon System and they are made for self-defense. Then we can find 32 surface-to-air missiles, 8 anti-ship missiles, 6 anti-ship missiles uh, another kind, then we have 6 324 mm torpedo tubes and 12 240 mm anti-sub rocket launchers. At the ninth spot we can find the Fridjof Nansen class from Norway. I hope I spelled the name right. It's being produced from 2003 and launched in 2004. They have five of them active in this moment and it costs 500 million dollars, almost the double of the previous ships. The latest one was commissioned in 2011. It has a length of 134 meters with a displacement of 5,290 tons. It can reach a speed of 27 knots, a range of 8 1300 kilometers with an endurance of 30 days. For the propulsion we can find a combination of diesel and gas. For the armament we have one 76 mm naval gun, three 12.7 mm machine guns, three 12.7 mm machine guns, 32 anti-ship missiles, eight surface to surface missiles, four 324 mm torpedo tubes and depth charges. For the number 8 we can find the, the Zeven Provincial class from Netherlands. It's being produced from 1998 and launched in 2000. They have 4 of them active and the cost is $820 million. The latest one was commissioned in 2005. It has a length of 144 meters with a displacement of 6000 tons. It can reach a speed of 30 knots and a range of 7400 kilometers. It has an endurance of 30 days and the propulsion is uh, achieved by a combination of diesel and gas. For the armament we can find one 127mm dual purpose gun, two 30mm sieves, four 12.7mm machine guns and six 7.62mm machine guns. Then we have 32 surface to air missiles, 32 anti-missiles missiles and eight harpoon anti-ship missiles. Also for this one we can find also four 323mm torpedo tubes. At the 7th spot we have the baden württemberg class from Germany. It's being produced from 2011 and it was launched in 2013. They planned 4 of them, one is active and 3 under construction. The latest one was commissioned in 2019 and it has a cost of 750 million dollars. It has a length of 149 meters with a displacement of 7,200 tons. It's the heaviest ship in uh, this category. It has an endurance of 45 days and uh, the propulsion is a combination of uh, diesel electric and uh, gas. For the armament we can find one 127mm naval gun, two 27mm autocannons, five 12.7mm remote guns and two 12.7mm heavy machine guns. For the missiles we have 42 surface to air missiles, eight harpoon anti-ship missiles and we don't find any anti-submarine weapon unfortunately. For the sixth spot we have the Alvaro de Bazan class from Spain. It's being produced from 2000 and launched in 2001. They planned six of them, five are active and one was cancelled. The cost is 1.1 billion dollar, it's very expensive. The latest one was commissioned in 2012, it has a length of 146 meters with a displacement of 6300 tons. For the speed we have 29 knots, a range of 8300 kilometers, an endurance of 30 days 
this and the propulsion is achieved by a combination of diesel or gas. For the armament we can find one 127mm naval gun, one 20mm Sius and two 20mm machine guns. For the missiles we have 32 surface to air missile, 64 anti-missile missiles and 8 harpoon anti-ship missiles. Then we can find four 324mm torpedo tubes. And the first machine of the top 5 is the Shivalik class from India. It's been produced from 2001 and launched in 2003. They have uh, three of them active in this moment and uh, it costs 330 million dollars. The latest one was commissioned in 2012. It has a length of 142 meters with a displacement of 6200 tons. It can reach a speed of 32 knots, a range of 9000 kilometers and an endurance of uh, 30 days. The propulsion is a combination of uh, diesel or gas. For the armament we have one 76mm uh, naval gun, two 30mm Sius and two 12.7mm machine guns. For the missiles we can find 32 surface to air missiles, 24 anti-ship missiles, 8 cruise missiles and 8 BrahMos cruise or anti-ship missiles, they can be used for both. Moreover we have uh, four 533mm torpedo tubes and two anti-submarine rocket launchers. At the fourth spot we have the Sachsen class from Germany. It's being produced from 1999 and launched in 2001. They have three of them active and one was cancelled. It has a cost of 790 million dollars with the latest one commissioned in 2006. It has a length of 143 meters with a displacement of 5,800 tons. It can reach a speed of 29 knots, a range of 7,400 kilometers with an endurance of 27 days. The propulsion is achieved by a combination of diesel and gas. For the armament we have one 76mm dual purpose gun, two 27mm autocannons and two 12.7mm machine gun. For the missiles we can find 24 surface to air missiles, 32 anti-missiles missiles, 42 Sibus missiles and 8 harpoon anti-ship missiles. Then we have also six 323mm torpedo tubes. And we start the top 3 with the Iver Huitfeld class from Denmark. I really hope I said the name right. It's being produced from 2007 and the latest one launched in 2010. There are 3 of them active in this moment and it has a cost of 325 million dollars. The latest one was commissioned in 2011. It has a length of 138 meters with a displacement of 6600 tons. It can reach a speed of 30 knots, a range of 70,200 km with an endurance of 31 days. The propulsion is achieved by a combination of diesel and diesel. For the armament we have two 76mm naval guns, one 35mm Sius and one 12.7mm machine guns. For the missiles we can find 32 SAM to face to air missiles, 24 anti-missile missiles, 42 Sius missiles and 16 harpoon anti-ship missiles. Also for this one we have also six 323mm torpedo tubes. And we are close to the end with the number 2, the Admiral Gorshov class from Russia. It's being produced from 2006 and launched in 2010. We have only one active in this moment, another one is under trials and two under construction. The latest one was commissioned in 2018. It has a length of 135 meters with a displacement of 5,400 tons. It can reach a speed over 29 knots, a range of 8,900 kilometers with an endurance of 30 days. For the propulsion we have a combination of diesel and gas. For the armament we can find one 130mm naval gun, two 30mm Sius, two 14.5mm machine guns. For the missiles we have 16 P-18 Onyx or Calibre anti-ship or cruise missiles. They can can be used for both, 32 9M100 or BrahMos again for both cruise and anti-ship uh, uh, targets and 8 330mm torpedo tubes. And uh, at the first position, at the end, we have the Frem class from France and Italy. It's being produced from 2007 and launched in 2010. They planned 20 of them, 13 are active and 7 are under construction. It cost 600 million dollars and the latest one was commissioned in 2018, just uh, last year. It has a length of 144 meters with a displacement of 6,900 tons. It can reach a speed of uh, over 30 knots, a range of 12,600 kilometers with an endurance of 29 days. The propulsion is a combination of diesel electric and gas.
For the armament we can find one 127mm Volcano Naval Gun, one 76mm Super Rapid Naval Gun and two 25mm Remote Guns. For the missiles we can find 16 anti-air missiles, 16 surface to air missiles, 8 anti-ship missiles and 4 MILAS missiles that can be used for anti-submarine, anti-ship and cruise missiles. Moreover we have 6 324mm torpedo tubes and 2 naval acoustic guns. Ok, also for today the video finished here. Today was quite difficult to make this video because these kind of ships are in the middle between the Corvette and the Destroyer. The Corvette are usually smaller, faster, cheaper to use and adopted only or mostly uh, near the coast, while the Destroyer are the biggest ship, more powerful. There are also cruisers but the cruisers are not adopted so much anymore in this period the destroyers became so big that they are mostly uh, like cruisers of the past but 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 uh, the frigates are just in the middle so you can't value them so easily you have to value the fact that they are cheaper they are usually the backbone of the navy of any nation uh, they are the most produced one and the most adopted so they are cheaper to use less powerful than destroyers but usually also bigger and um, you know more powerful than a corvette and the place is just in the middle so here in this case i needed to value different aspects and i tried to give more importance to the versatility because this kind of ships are just in the middle and needs to do uh, you know a little of both the category so the one with more sensors more kind of weapon that can uh, afford more kind of missions uh, I try to give them uh, more importance, but as I said it was a very difficult list so I would like to know your opinion, if you agree with me it's okay, if you don't it's okay too, but let me know in the comments why you don't agree with me and uh, what I can change, what I can improve and maybe I can change my mind and uh, update uh, the list in the, in the future. If you liked this one you can check also the top 10 destroyer list that you can find here, will appear. Uh, here and uh, also there are more videos like this one so in the description you can find a link to the playlist with more videos like this one and also here now will uh, appear uh, the connection to the playlist so you can check also the other videos and maybe you can like them too if you liked this one please leave a like it's always appreciated as i said before leave a comment to let me know um, if you liked the video if not if you agree with me you can always write a comment it's always appreciated especially if you support your argument with uh, facts, links and, uh, you know, informations. Not only... that one is better. Okay, but why? It, it's, it's better if you let me know why you don't agree with me. And say that uh, I think that's all. Subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. You know how it works on YouTube. Uh, share the video with uh, people you think may like these kind of videos. Uh, you can uh, spam my videos everywhere, not, I'm kidding, no, 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 not spam my videos everywhere, but only where you think it's needed. So there maybe yes, you can spam it. And let me know what I can improve and see you next week with a new video. So that's all. Bye.